Scotland's councils will struggle to implement the country's new smacking ban with concerns raised over the extra stress it will place on social workers, teachers and health workers. A new survey of Scottish councillors also suggests a general lack of support for the controversial ban across local authority representatives of all main parties. The research, carried out by a group which argues against the smacking ban, claims three in four councillors who responded do not believe their council has the resources to handle the additional pressure that a smacking ban may bring. In addition, seven in ten say social workers would fail to cope with extra caseloads created by the law, set to be introduced in the coming year. The survey also claims most councillors believe parents should be allowed to use reasonable chastisement, and that smacking should not become a criminal offence. Holyrood voted in October by 84 to 29 to support Scottish Greens MSP John Finney's anti-smacking bill which outlaws all physical punishment of children and raises the prospect of parents being prosecuted for any use of physical punishment on their own children. The legislation was given royal assent last month and is due to come into force in the coming year. It means Scotland will be the first UK country to outlaw smacking and will give young people the same protection from assault as adults. A consultation on Mr Finney's bill was widely supported by children's charities however opponents have argued that the law already protected children from assault and the ban risked criminalising good parents for using reasonable chastisement. It has been likened by some opponents to the Scottish government's failed named persons legislation which was ditched following criticism that it could place ordinary families under undue scrutiny. The new research by campaign group Be Reasonable received 225 responses from 1227 Scottish councillors, representing 18% of the country's local councillors. Despite claims that the survey is too small to be reliable, the group says it spotlights a deep divide between the views of local politicians and Holyrood. It also warns that while the law change could see increased pressure on social services and a need for extra training for teachers and health workers, there has so far been no indication that the Scottish government plans to release funds to help cover additional costs. Be Reasonable spokesman Jamie Gillies, said, three quarters of councillors who completed the survey felt local authorities will not cope with additional pressures brought about by a change in the law. Crucially, social workers, who are already cracking under the pressure of identifying and helping vulnerable children, are also thought to be unable to cope. Many councillors seem aghast at the prospect of a smacking ban. For more on this story, visit the news article link.